So I've officially become that guy that if you have something broken, hey, you want this? So a coworker brought me this Ninja Mega Kitchen System. Um, he said it stopped working and his wife ordered another one and do I want it? So of course, yes. And you can see I've got the canister locked on here and no power. So let's get it apart and see what we find. All right, so this little guy up here was a T9 security screw with a little hole in the end of it. All right, so on the board, I've got my 120 volts that comes in to this board right here. Um, and then the control panel on the other side, right here, it just pushes on these buttons straight on the board. So I can test each of these individual switches, but this capacitor right here looks to be swollen. So I'm going to see if I can figure out what that is. And of course you can see it's glued on there. So that'll be fun to take off. So 6.3 volt, 1000 microfarad, strange voltage. Let me scour my parts bench. Okay, so this bulging capacitor here um, is a 6.3 volt, thousand microfarad capacitor. I don't have a 6.3 volt thousand microfarad capacitor. I do have, this is a 10 volt thousand microfarad capacitor. And on a capacitor, the voltage, at least as far as stuff like this is concerned, um, the voltage is the highest amount of voltage that it can handle. Uh, the number we're looking for is the capacitance rating. So this has the same capacitance as that one. Um, it can just withstand a little bit higher voltage. But if you wanted to order the replacement, um, this is a 6.3 volt. I'll post a link to it down in the description. Uh, they're cheap, like under a buck. So, but I wanna see if this fixes it. So I'm gonna replace this one. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stay out of the light. Uh, this pin here and this pin here are the two for the capacitor. So I'm gonna see if I can suck this solder out of there. And the glue holding it in isn't doing a wonderful job. But I'm just going to take my razor knife on the other side carefully. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see this. So there we go. It is out. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to is um, this board is marked which side is negative and which side is positive. So if the board's not marked, that's something you need to look at before you remove it because if you install it backwards, it's not gonna be good. On electrolytic capacitors, um, you got a white stripe on one side and not on the other. The white stripe is the negative and that goes in the bottom hole. Test it out. And yeah, it looks like I've got plenty of room. 
I need a taller chair. There's way too much solder on there. So trim these leads. Okay, so we've got it plugged back in. Um, I've just got it temporarily together, just one screw holding the bottom on, um, but we'll see if it turns on. So we got power. You can see our power light is on solid. I don't know if you can see that at all. Maybe now. We got a power light on solid. Ta-da! It's fixed. So, A lot of times on these electronics like this, or appliances, small appliances, whatever you want to call them, um, that little guy, less than a dollar part, causes it to not work and not, I mean, I hate to think how many of these things are in the trash, the landfill, um, because of that little part. Yeah, uh, professional 1500 watt ninja kitchen gadget, whatever it was called. And cool. I got this pitcher, there's another big pitcher, and then two single serve cups, and it comes with like a dough hook so you can make dough and. So that's it. Um, I'm going to get it cleaned up and put it to use. Thanks, Steve. So guys, if you have any questions or comments about this video, uh, let me know. Uh, another real easy repair. Um, just need a little bit of soldering skills, a few tools. I'll post a link to the soldering iron and all the tools and supplies and stuff that I used. Um, I'll also post a link to the appropriate size capacitor if you don't have a bunch of randoms laying around like I do. Lots of stuff breaks because of these little things. Uh, you can check out some of my other videos. I have fixed quite a few things by replacing just capacitors. So, until next time, give me that thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.